Dirango MS from the Bridge Africa again. Uh, today I want us to have a conversation that is a little bit not so good. Uh, I want us to explore the promise and the outcomes of our education sector. And majorly, uh, under this topic, I want us to talk about the recent phenomena that we've seen most of our graduates are doing in serial internships. They are graduating with high student loans. And more importantly, we've started hearing the terms depreciation of the degree. I want to appeal to both your intellect, but as well as your imagination. And I want to ask you, have you ever seen your dreams being stolen? Have you ever had to compete for unpaid work? Well, I've had to, and I count you lucky if you haven't. You see, in my work, I have also watched young people being humiliated before even their graduation kick is over. I have had the unpleasant opportunity of seeing our parents' faces when they open envelopes from higher education financing institutions thinking it's a job. You see, nothing makes our parents happier than that moment when our education pays off. Unfortunately, these are envelopes containing threats. Yes, a threat to remind them that their daughter or son, on whom their bright future hinges, is not only jobless, but in debt. Yes, I've seen these reminder hitting them when they are told that, you should know, the job market owes you nothing. And you cannot blame us when as a society we start feeling as if these investments, the loans our parents took, the assets they disposed was something thrown into a bottomless pit of some sort. To finance a credential that doesn't seem to pay off in the marketplace. And I know most of my videos are a little bit lively and chatty, but I sound mad. And why wouldn't I? When we tell our graduates to become entrepreneurs because there are fewer opportunities in formal employment and some obliged. But even before the ideas crystallize into a business plan, we list them in our credit reference bureaus and therefore starving them of the much needed capital that they would need to take off. When the default rate in our higher education loans board is really high, but instead of us focusing on the underlying asset under which the loan was taken, we focus on the borrower. When I see my brother becoming a serial intern and not a single employer wanting to compensate him even for bus fare and therefore I have to pay the bill. And when I see a 16 year investment in higher education depreciating faster than a Japanese vehicle dumped on us, I have to be mad. But this is intellectual madness.